Hi, I'm Natalie Padena and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna edit a photo of mine in five minutes. It usually takes me 30 minutes up to one hour to edit a photo in Lightroom and not to mention the photos that I retouch in Photoshop. More time, definitely more time. Anyhow, I thought this could be fun and would give you guys an insight how I edit and maybe help you with some of your editing. So let's get started. Five minutes starting. Uh, I don't want to press it now. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna try and explain a little bit. So I like things to be a little bit darker and a little bit more, you know, with this like tinted magenta vibe. So this is why I tinted a little bit more to the pink side and make it a little bit more blue. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is go head to calibration. This is the first step I'm gonna open and then lens correction. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, but I'm really, really, really stressing right now with the five minutes. I hope you guys understand. So I can also change the tint of the shadows. I don't like the green. I will kill that in a minute but I will tint a little bit more to the pink side, then I'm gonna hit also the more pinkish side of the red primary and then saturate this a little bit more and then we don't want this yellow green, we want a bluer green. Oh, this doesn't really touch the greens in the background, but we can get a little bit of those out. That's nice as well. Um, and then we don't want like a dark this is if it would be dark blue, you have a lot of purple in here and the whole color changes. So to keep this vibe that I'm trying to go for, I will do it like, I think right here. And then <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm doing right now. Okay, so basically calibration is really, really good. Lens correction as well. But the main issue here will be the color so far. So I will head to green. I will try to find what happens if we do Ooh, this looks nice see now we have a deeper green so the whole story changes if we would go to the yellow side it doesn't really complement the pink and this darker green you can see that we changed it here in the background of the of the flowers it's just behind the flowers and basically we just you know kind of changes so I'm gonna make it a little bit less saturated and see what happens if we touch on the luminance. I don't know if I like it darker. <laughs> I think we keep it a little bit darker, but not too dark. Something like here. Then I'm gonna head over to the magenta. And basically, whenever I adjust colors, I will always slide to both sides to kind of see what happens. It's just a habit. I guess there are people who can do it and they know directly what they're going to do. I like to experiment a little bit and see if maybe this picture can go a different direction. So, yeah, my, inten my intention was not to go to the right. So basically I think that was <laughs> quite well. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna make it a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit lighter. And then the saturation, I will keep that at four to five then i will head over to purple because i suppose yeah there is some purple in here i'm really good with colors guys <laughs> um yeah i don't ah that, that kind of looks interesting but it's way over the top but it's a different direction that would be possible to go we can adjust the luminance of course maybe we do this no <laughs> definitely not darker but a tiny, tiny touch. Okay, then the saturation, oversaturated. No, no, no. Let's leave it around three, I guess. So basically there is a little bit of blue in the tips, but I think it's mostly purple. So I'm gonna leave it at six to push the purple a little bit more. And I don't have much time left, so I'm gonna speed to red because I think we have a little bit more red, right? Yes, in the middle. Going to pinkish, then do this, 
do that and now after I've done the colors I'm only doing this because I only have five minutes and I really have to speed up right now because the timer is basically done um, so we add a little bit of texture but not too much a little bit more of clarity and then I'm gonna head into the curves I'm gonna lift the shadows and adjust the middle so we have the midtones here I don't want too much of those highlights here and not too much of this as well Just small, fine adjustments. Those go a long way. And I always push the highlights a little bit down and lift the shadows. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And then, of course, you have to keep in mind what kind of vibe, what kind of image do you want to portray or do you want to show. So basically, this kind of suits the vibe that I was going for. It's dark and moody. Usually if I had more time, I'll probably go a little bit more into the dark green and pink area. But for five minutes, I think this is pretty solid. <laughs> oh, I forgot to, to crop it. Four to five, of course, because you know, it's just the way it is. So this is the result of my five minute edit. Honestly, this was really a challenge. At first glance, it doesn't really look like we've changed much, but we lifted the shadows and adjusted the colors, made the picture all over moodier, which was my intention in the first place. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you have any questions, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.